Take this. It's museum quality, but you deserve it. Museum quality. I guess that means it's a fake, but I don't care. 36. Yeah, that's not the real orb count, by the way. You should got you guys should know from the past levels that that's not the real orb count. Uh, okay. Let's see. We'll get the egg in just a second. Let me get this. Okay, and there we go. Is that the last of the gems? No. Where are they? Oh, I guess they're down here. Come on. I'm gonna find the last bit of gems before I do this fetch quest. Yeah, here they are, because there's a platypus down here and I haven't killed. Come on. There we go, 400 out of 400. I can leave the platypuses alone. Alright, let's get out of here and let's go back. Alright, it's good to know we're going on the right track now, so... We're almost done with this level. I'm getting a lot... I'm getting this done a lot faster than my uh, previous attempts. Now, where's the egg? I think it actually went back to the professor. Yeah, I gotta go talk to him again. Oh, well. Cloud Temples is gonna be a lot more interesting than this. Mystic Marsh I just find boring, to be completely honest. <laughs> the only part of this level I actually like is this fetch quest, and that's it. Do I... Yes, I want to start over. Here's another egg. Makes you wonder how many of these you actually stole. Yeah, but for those of you who haven't played uh, Dragon Ball Z but, uh, Legacy of Goku 2, which I do have, I just never beat. I've beaten the first Legacy of Goku in Boost Fury, which is my overall favorite, and I really need to do a Let's Play of that game. Uh, that one has, without a doubt, the worst fetch quest in history. I don't care what any other game is, that one's the worst. Don't worry, that one will automatically go into it. Okay, I think, uh, what is this? I think this is the seed, which we need to come over here for, because there's a vase over here. Um, I can't remember the specific order, but let's see. Yep. That'll give us the duck, and uh, you may have saw uh, like a little duck family earlier in this video. Well, that's where we're gonna go. They're right at the end of this river. Uh. Uh, here they are. Sometimes, though, it can be kind of finicky with this. Uh, you just need to try to shoot it at them, and hopefully it'll activate the cutscene like that. Because I remember I shot it at the duck, but it didn't register the cutscene, so I had to pick it up again and do it again. So it can be a little finicky. And now we got to take this to the um, pot that is up there in the cave area where we chased one of the foxes. Uh, I really don't like this level. It's funny how many levels are actually interesting, but like when you get to more of the later worlds, they really just start to get a little bit pale in comparison to some of the other greater levels. Like it, the only level I really do like playing in all of uh, of uh, Winter Tundra is Cloud Temples and um, Metropolis, and that's it. But Metropolis, I was not in the best mood for to experience it, but I still love the level. I'm not going to deny that. And my favorite level overall was definitely a. Uh, uh, Breeze Harbor. Also, I think this is supposed to be a tribute to the first Spyro, uh, that one level that has, um, what the hell? That has, like, those chicks that you could burn or whatever. Which, by the way, that was my favorite, uh, song in this, uh, first Spyro. I think it was called D Dry Town or something like that. I can't remember exactly. It's in the second home. I don't know that. Now we have to go to the fountain to make a wish. That's, this is something that most people, wait. Okay, never mind, that's just a flower. I already have all the gems, what am I thinking? Yeah, you can see down there some coins, just toss it in there. For those of you who have read The Lost Hero, uh, the, you know, Ry Ryodan, the sequel to, uh, The Last Olympian, uh, you guys should know that Jason, his weapon was the, uh, coin that he just flipped to get, uh, two types of weapons. I can't remember what they were off the top of my head. I think one of them was a halberd, something that Noda uses in Angel Beats. Or, I know, no, actually one of them is a spear. I can't remember. There we go. My pencil! Now I can begin calculating the age of the universe again. Here, take this orb. I'll That's the last thing I need, for God's sake. With all that stupid rapture shit that went on. Just so you guys know, I am Christian. Just 
No one can predict the end of the world. I honestly don't know the point of that. I know I took out my memory card because if this recording fucks up, I'm not gonna, you know, play through the entire game again. I'm, I'm saying if it's not this time, I can just insert the memory card, load the file again, and play from there. Uh, Alright, uh, where's uh, City Cloud Samples? I think it's in here. I've already gotten this treasure in the past video, so I'm not gonna bother with it. Yeah, we have enough orbs. Alright, now this level is actually pretty fun, except for that one mission that I'm going to go crazy over, which I'm not going to cut out, by the way. Well, I might. I will admit the uh, ending cutscene in this place is actually pretty funny. I used to be one of Avalar's most powerful what magicians the? until that big warlock over there stole my wand. He and his friends have used the magic to take over the city. Okay. Yeah, that was cheap. I was in the middle of text dialogue. I wasn't <laughs> fighting. Okay. Alright, let's see. All right, there's that. I am gonna finish the game today, by the way. I'm not gonna, com I'm not gonna skip out on this. I am finishing the game today, so you know when I get to rip this place, that's gonna be, uh, be where the cut is. Which I'm kind of surprised that uh, I managed. Oh yeah, I might want to take out those uh, ram-looking things, not the ones that will charge at you, but the uh, purple ones, because you may think they'll try to charge at you, but the actual th uh, the thing is they won't. Instead, they'll uh, make these things to throw at you. Like, uh, you may see there, this little magma thing. Yeah, they spit those out at you. There we go. But if you kill one, you always get a, you get one to replace it. And I'm being careful with this, because I'm not going to go running off the edge. Trust me. It has happened to me in past games where it was in a situation similar to this. And then again, I think just about everyone's done that in a platformer. You know, you're trying to get a thing that's close to an edge, and you end up running off the edge and killing yourself. Uh, let's go back. You get that jar. There we go. And I miss this. I don't even know what I can use this for. I don't think there's any treasure around I can use. Uh, yeah, okay, never mind. You need to take this. <laughs> I was scared for a second. I was like, why is he not going up? There we go. Use it for something. I don't think they put any of those guys. Like, it's so necessary to have them in this one spot in order to get the gems. Uh, hold on. Oh yeah, I need to know now that pressing L2 and R2 makes the camera focus in automatically. Yeah, guess what? For the entire let's play this uh for this entire let's play, I didn't know that. Can I skip this? Yeah, okay. Yeah, it just blows up. There we go, that works. I get an extra life. Man, they have been handing out extra lives like nothing else. Uh I'm uh, just gonna pick this up for, say, oh, fuck it. Okay, here's some more. Yeah, I got hit on that. <laughs> Wait, did that sheep just come out of that? I don't know. Okay, there's Agent Zero over there. You can see him. I'm gonna go ahead and do that so that way I don't have to deal with him. <laughs> yeah, he's laughing at me and then he dies. I laughed at that ram was still trying to hit me when I'm not even there in the cutscene. Screw it, skipping. Okay, what the heck, I hit him. Well, I did kind of swerve to the left a little bit before I hit him, so I guess I can understand why that just happened. No, eat the butterfly sparks. Thank you. Okay, let's get the gems here. Uh, what's this gonna do? Wait, does this just take me up? No, it sends me back, it sends me back. Okay, there's some more treasure right here I can get. 
There's also another, uh, oh yeah, we get ice breath in this uh, level. I actually was wrong. We do get ice uh, breath in this uh, game. I know you have it in one level in Spyro 3 because it's so cold Spyro can't uh, uh, breathe fire. I'm a secret agent. I'm going to my secret hideout. Only members of my secret club are allowed to go there. I'm not leaving unless you hide behind that tree so you can't see me. <laughs> I can't help but laugh at this guy because he just says, I want you to hide behind that tree so that way you don't know that I'm gone. But you'll clearly see me because I'm such a big piece of polygon. By the way, hide behind here. Do not try to follow him. Hide behind here. And when he turns around, then start chasing him. You can hide behind the tree. And then after that, when he jumps, you want to... Yeah, I'm going to get caught on this one because I was too slow. Oh, come on. Go, 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 go. Ah, uh, uh, it was close. Yeah, shut up. This time I... Trust me, this is actually a lot harder than it looks. Again, just stay right here. Kind of keep the camera shifting so that way you can see him right there. When he turns around, hurry up and get next to him. But not so next to him where he sees you. Then when he jumps, you need to be right behind him and be able to get right behind this. Okay, that was my own fault, but at the same time, I don't think he should have seen me on that. <sighs> If it happens uh, when I'm really not meaning it to, that's when I'm gonna cut. But for right now, it's only been my—it's been my own fault. Okay, don't run into him. By the way, I think that also triggers it. Go, go, go! All right, I'm just keeping him here so that way I can see. All right, when he gets in there, you need to be right behind him, or else the door will shut on you. Don't worry, he does not look around right here. Uh, but we are about to the hard part. This is when I get really tense. I'm probably gonna shut up for this. All right, go 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 go. Okay, he's gonna look around, and while he's going, go. <laughs> I hate this fucker. <laughs> I'm not kidding, guys. This is fucking stupid. If it happens again, I'm just gonna cut. I think I kind of over-exaggerated on that, to be honest. But I just gripped my controller on that. I didn't like totally lose my head. Okay, I think he just about saw me on that, and that would have been my own fault. All right, come on, come on, go, go. Cause you see, you can't stay at that tree right there. That's the thing. You have to stay. You have to be behind the other tree. Okay, get ready. I'm fucking cutting. I'm cutting. I'm cutting. I'm trying my best not to scream right now, by the way. 